before we do it. So we have to solve this one. Um, if you remember, remember there's no absolute value. We just have to solve it. And these, I'm just going to solve it. I won't graph them. And that's the, the hardest part. And you notice here's a negative. So you have to distribute that. And then when you do that, you're going to end up with negative x minus 3x minus 2. You see that? This negative has to distribute into that. And then when I distribute also this 2 here, you're going to get 2 minus 6x. And on the left side, because we have the x and this 3x already on the left side, we can just combine those, and that's going to become negative 4x minus 2 is greater than 2 minus 6x. All right, and then what I like to do is I like to put my letters to the left, numbers to the right. So my variables, so I'm going to do plus 6x on both sides. That's going to give me 2x minus 2 is greater than 2. And then I'm going to take my constants over to the right. So we're going to do add 2. We're going to do the inverse. That's going to simplify out. We're going to be left with 2x is greater than or equal to 4. And we're going to divide by 2. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that should be the answer for number 1. Number two, guys, is the fraction, and you know, we don't like fractions, so let's go ahead and to solve this, you're going to multiply by the least common denominator, which should be five. You're going to distribute everything, and that way we're going to get rid of uh, the fraction, so this becomes five times four is 20, okay? Leave the bottom number alone, okay? In essence, what you have is a one on the bottom. But we kind of take a little shortcut with that. So it's 5 times 4 on the top, 1 times 5 on the bottom. Okay, so we have x. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times 2 is 10. So you notice how you distribute everything, every single thing here. Okay? And then 20 divided by 5, that's going to give you 4x minus 5. And then 5x plus 10. All right, and then now that's a lot easier to work with. And just like always, I like to put my variables on the left. So 5x, we're going to do minus 5x, minus 5x, just like that. 4 minus 5 is negative x, minus 5, and then plus 10. All right, now we're going to have plus 5, plus 5. That's going to simplify out just right there. And now we're going to end up with negative x is greater than or equal to 10 plus 5 is 15. All right. And then we, we're not allowed to have that negative there, so we're going to divide by negative 1. Now, remember, when you divide or you multiply by a negative, you got to reverse the sign. So this sign is going to switch. It becomes a negative 15. And that's it. That's what should be your answer for number 2. Number 3, much the same as number 1. we got that negative Okay, um, and the reason I give you guys this problem is because a lot of times we forget to distribute that negative. But when we do, we should get 6 minus 3a plus 4 is less than negative 2. And this one's not too hard. But if you notice, you have the 6 and the 4, right? They're both on the left side. So 6 plus 4, that's going to give you 10. And then minus 3a is less than negative 2. All right, and then what happens? Well, same thing. I like to put my variables on the left, my constants on the right. 3a is already on the left, so I'm going to go ahead and do minus 10 on both sides. And that's going to give me negative 3a is less than negative 12. Again, we're going to divide by negative 3. Because we're dividing by a negative, right, we have to reverse that sign. And that's going to give me 4. And that's number 3. All right, guys. All right. Number four. And remember, you can fast forward to any of these. Same thing. Uh, more of the same. We're going to go ahead and distribute this three. Okay. And that's going to go ahead and give us 3x plus 2 is greater than 3x minus 15 minus 4x plus 1. And you notice I only distribute over here the x minus 5. Again, you see how the 3x and the 4x are on the same side? So we're going to do 3x minus 4x, and that's going to give me negative 1x. 
and then we have negative 15 plus 1. That's going to give me negative 14. So I can combine these because they're all already on the same side. On the left side, we have 3x plus 2. And the same thing, I want letters to the left, numbers to the right. So I'm going to do plus x on both sides. That's going to give me 4x plus 2 is greater than negative 14. Same thing. Now I'm going to take the constants. You're going to do minus 2. And we're going to be left with 4x is greater than negative 16. Same thing now. We're going to divide by 4. Divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now be careful, okay? Are we dividing by a negative? No, we're dividing by a positive 4. Okay, so be careful. Even though I see that negative, that doesn't matter. You're still only dividing by a positive 4. So x is going to be greater than negative 4. And that's your answer. All right, number 5. Same thing, we're going to distribute here. And we're going to end up with negative 4x plus 8 is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 8. All right, so what happens here? Remember, letters to the left. All right, so I'm going to do plus 2x. All right, that's going to simplify out. So negative 4 plus 2, that's going to give me negative 2x plus 8. All right, and then what happens now? So now I'm going to take my constants, minus 8. That's going to simplify it. We're left with negative 2x is less than or equal to 0. And this is okay to have. 0 is, is an okay answer to get, okay? Um, as long as we, we can solve for x, there's still going to be a solution. So we're going to divide by negative 2, okay? Now, again, ask yourself, am I dividing by a negative? Yes. So we're going to reverse the sign, okay? And 0 divided by any number is 0, okay? So that's the answer. Sometimes it gets kind of tricky. Students get confused with that one. But no, just 0 divided by any number is 0. All right. Number 6 is about a, a level 3 question. Uh, this is a minus sign here, guys. I almost miswrote it. But remember, we want to get rid of that fraction. So we want to look at the bottom. You have a 2 and a 3. And we want to use a common multiple of 2 and 3, which is going to be 6. You can use 6 over 1 if you'd like. But... What we're going to do is we're going to distribute the 6 into all of these terms so that we can hopefully get rid of the fraction. So 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 1 is 6. Now watch how I do this. 6 times 2x minus 1. I'm just going to put the 6 on the outside. Because I know in the back of my head that these are going to simplify out. And then 6 over here as well times 3x plus 2 all over 3. So we're going to get 18x plus 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. You see how I did this? That's why you don't want to distribute this. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then you get 3x plus 2. And now it's a lot easier to work with and I can distribute. So let's go ahead and do that. You're going to get 18x plus 6 is going to become 6x minus 3. And then over here, don't forget, you got to use that negative in front, okay? That's going to give you negative 6x minus 4, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and do this. We have 18x plus 6 on the left side. And on the right side, we have 6x minus 6x. So what happens with that? Well, that disappears. So you're just left with negative 3 and negative 4. And that's going to give you negative 7. Okay. And then again, same thing. I already have my x's on the left. So I'm going to going to take my constants over to the right side. And that's going to give me, let's see here, 18x is on the left, greater than negative 7 minus 6 is negative 13. All right, we're going to divide by 18. And yes, I'm going to have a fraction and that's okay. x is greater than negative 13 over 18. And that's it. So that's what you should have gotten for that one. All right, guys, number seven. All right, number seven, we're doing the same thing. We're going to distribute, distribute here. And you see a lot of algebra, right? A lot of algebra equations like we've done before. So we're going to get 5x minus 5. Now, remember, you have to use that negative in the front of the 3. So you should get negative 3x minus 3, greater than or equal to 3x minus 8. 
On the left side, okay, you notice that we have the 5x and the 3x. That's going to give us 2x when we combine it. And negative 5 and negative 3, that's going to give me negative 8. Okay. All right, so now same thing. We can solve it. Letters to the left, so minus 3x. All right, we're going to end up with negative x minus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 8. Now for this guy, we're going to add 8, okay, just like normal. And then we're going to get negative x is greater than or equal to, oh, we get another 0. Okay, and that's okay. So let me rewrite that. We're going to divide by negative 1. Okay, and then we're going to get x is less than or equal to 0. Remember, we're divided by negative, so we've got to reverse it. Number 8, the last one of these long ones. Another, right, so I would call this a level 3. Remember, we want to get rid of these fractions, so we're going to multiply by the common denominator, which would be 10 in this case, or if you want to use 10 over 1. So 10 times 2 is 20x. 10 times 6, that's 60. It's greater than 10 times this, 3x minus 1. Remember, we're just going to put it outside of the parentheses, leave the 5 on the bottom, and then 10 times the 4 minus x with the 2. And that's going to give me 20x plus 60 is greater than 10 divided by 5 is 2, and get 3x minus 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then you get 4 minus x. All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and distribute. All right, and on the right side, we're going to get 6x minus 2, uh, and then we're going to get negative 20 plus 5x. You see how we did that? So negative 5 times 4 and negative 5 times negative x. Be careful. A lot of times students forget the, about that negative. Same thing over here, guys. On the left side, we still have that 20x plus 60. All right, and if we're going to go ahead and combine like terms... On the right side, we have 6x plus 5x. So that's going to give me 11x. And then negative 2 and negative 20, the signs are the same, so we're going to add them. So that's going to give you negative 22. All right, now I'm going to have to continue over here. Let me go ahead and rewrite it. And whoops. Here we go. It's greater than 11x minus 22. Letters to the left numbers to the right so minus 11x on both sides that's going to end up with uh, 9x plus 60 is greater than negative 22 all right so now what well we want the numbers to the right minus 60 we're going to have 9x is greater than negative 82 because the signs are the same and we're going to divide by 9 and x is going to be greater than negative 82 over 9. And that's okay to have. Uh, it's an improper fraction. That's okay. You can leave it like that. All right? I know these are kind of long, um, but it's important to learn how to do the algebra. The more we do it, the better we're going to get. All right, guys. So now, number 9 is a compound inequality. These are the ones that have two inequalities in one. And we're going to start off by solving the middle, right? So remember, we're still solving it just like if it was a single one. But now we're going to do the both uh, on both sides. So plus 6, we're going to minus 6 on both sides, right? And then over here also on the left. That's going to simplify out. We're going to be left with 12 minus 6 is 6. 2x is in the middle. 24 minus 6 is 18. Now we undo multiplication. We're going to divide both sides by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And there you go. And that's it. So that was not too bad. This next one is a little bit tricky, number 10. All right, but let's go ahead and do it together. We're going to do the same thing. All right, we're going to add 4 to both sides. There you go. All right, that's going to simplify out. On the left side, we're going to end up with negative 1 less than or equal to negative 2x, less than or equal to 11. And then what do we do? Well, we're going to undo this part, but we have to divide by a negative 2, right? Now remember, what did we say when we divide by a negative number? The inequality has to reverse. So this is going to become 1 half, reverse it, 
negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Reverse this sign as well. And then negative 11 over 2. But remember, in mathematics, we, we're not allowed to write it like this. So we're going to switch it. We're going to write the negative 11 over 2 on the left and also switch our symbols and then put the 1 half on the right. And that's the correct way to write it. All right. For number 11, if you had trouble with that one, what would